Okay, we'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. I do four. Sandy, want to do roll call? Council Person Brenning. Bruni? Mm -hmm. Perry? Yes. Hanson? Yes. McGinty? Yes. Okay, is there any conflicts of interest? Nope. No. <clears throat> okay, on to number three. Consent of agenda, approval of agenda, approval of the minutes of the July 28th, 2015 council meeting. Consideration of appointing Aaron Daisy to the Hometown Pride Committee. And D claims. I'd recommend we strike uh, 7A from the agenda. The airport commission representative will not be here tonight. Okay, any other <clears throat> discussion? On the claims... The cemetery contract, how far are we into that? I mean, the contract it concludes at the end of this calendar year. Um, the, the way his contract is set up is he's paid a third, he's paid 30%, 30%, 30%, and 10% at the end of the contract. Um, so that's how he's structured out. I believe, is it April the first payment goes to him? Does that sound right? June. So it'd be so you're talking June, August, and then he'll get paid again in October ish, October, November. I'd have to look to be exactly certain. And then I believe he gets either a December or January payment of the final ten percent uh first. Who would move past the consent agenda? Second. Okay. Motion in the second. Uh, Councilperson Hanson? Yes. McGinty? Yes. Bruning? Yes. Perry? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, on to four projects. A Sac City Facade Project. <clears throat> One, consideration of approving CDBG drawdown number 12 in the amount of $3,143. I make a motion to approve the drawdown 12. Second. Okay, motion is second. And uh, Councilperson McGinty? Yes. Bruni? Yes. Perry? Yes. Hanson? Yes. Motion carried. Number two, consideration of approving the Franks Design Group's PC's bill in the amount of 4,926.31. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the Franks Design Group PC's bill in the amount of 4,926.31. Guys are like pulling words out of your mouth tonight. Second. <clears throat> motion and a second. Okay, so this is. Uh, this pays up 100% of the portion of their agreement that covers their cost associated with the bidding section of the project. Seemed like a lot of words to say such a small amount of information. And that. Uh, when construction actually starts, we still are authorized to do external loans if need be? Correct. In fact, we will probably start proceeding on that later this month. <clears throat> You've authorized it. You had a public hearing. You authorized it. We simply haven't secured the final loan at this point, so we'll move forward with that later this month. Okay. Any further discussion on number two? Okay. Sandy. Councilperson Perry? Yes. Hanson? Yes. McGinty? Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay. Item number 3A, consideration of approving the city's portion of the in the amount of 985.26. I would move to approve the consideration of the city's portion in the amount of 985.26. A second. Okay. Any further discussion on that one? No. Okay. Sandy? Councilperson Hanson? Yes. McGinty? Yes. Bruning? Yes. Perry? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, item number 4A, consideration of approving the city's advancement of CDBG funding in the amount of $3,143. Any discussion on this? Okay. I would move to approve the, cons the city's advancement of CDBG funding in the amount of $3,143. I'll second it. Any further discussion? Okay, we have a motion and a second. 
Councilperson Hansen? Yes. McGinty? Yes. Burning? Yes. Terry? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, five, citizens' opportunity to address the council on items not on the agenda. Curtis? Hey, guys, where is the Tolan Field sign? It's likely sitting in the scrap pile right now. Scrap pile where? Um, I, I'd have to find out from Tom where he's currently got it located. What? It was damaged. damaged. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it was not going to be repairable. It had, it was actually a safety concern to leave it standing up the way it was. Okay. What had happened to it? I w would believe, from what I can tell, it got hit. Like with a vehicle? or That would be my guess, Curtis. With a city vehicle? Uh, I wouldn't think so, no. Oh. <laughs> I, would, I would hope I would know if it was a city vehicle. <laughs> Hello. I guess, did somebody run into the sign? That's, in, well, into the yes. base of the sign. So are police investigating that right now? I, there aren't any known I mean, reports or anything that's reported. No, I mean, there's not really anything to, uh, I mean, John's aware of it, but apart from that, that's, that's about it at this point. Alrighty. Thanks. Anything else from Citizens? Steve? I got two things. Uh, first thing is, what has the consul directed Willie Osborne to do? I see we have a partial privacy fence on the east side of that. Is the rest of that lot going to be fenced in, clear around the block in time? Yeah. He has the material there. He has material? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there an ordinance on the books that dictates that he can have that material stored there? And my second thing is, is and I'm, I'm kind of sad that there's not a police officer here tonight. We need to do something downtown in regards to officiating at the stoplights. We're going to have somebody killed at the stoplight for people running through the red light down there. It was terrible when we had the traffic with all the semis going through there, the, gap, the gravel trucks and things like that going through there. We need some enforcement downtown, especially at red light running and also speed. And it just blows my mind that we hardly ever see anybody from Saxon to get picked up for speeding. You'll mention that? Yep. I guess I have a question. What do you mean when you say, does, is there a, what did you ask, a permit or something? For yeah, is, is it legal to have all of that stuff downtown in the business district basically as a junkyard? Well, Mr. Uh, Osborne has been charged by the police department on numerous occasions for violations of the junk ordinance because that would be the ordinance that would apply in these cases. I know he has been before a judge on several different occasions and um, past that I can tell you that he has been seen as complying in the past with those provisions. I, I can't speak, as far as the law goes, I can't sure, speak past sure. that point. No, that's fine. You know, I, I, being on the plane and zoning for a number of years like I was, I know what happens when we get to the court system. You know, basically nothing. <coughs> well, I think I'd be willing to have him store this stuff down there if he's going to use it. So that's, that, to me, that's a perfectly good thing. I guess I, I have a big concern. You know, the Planning and Zoning Commission has worked very hard in regards to the Sunrise Bill for me. And with the roof falling in now, kids being in the building and things like this, how's the people going to get there to work or tear down that building with all of that stuff there? Curtis? Through the south door? <laughs> I mean, how are they going to, how are they, right now we're, <laughs> this week we're hiring an engineer to do a phase one assessment and hiring a guy to do um, asbestos, to, to do an asbestos inspection, so we know when there will be for removal. Uh, that portion of the building, if it's unsafe to enter, then I don't think he's going to be able to inspect that. And I'm not sure what happens. When, it, when it's not safe to inspect, Adam, what happened with Matt's? Did somebody still go in and inspect? He, yes, mm -hmm. he did go in somebody and did. complete an inspection. <laughs> so, Actually, I'll give him quite a bit of, care, uh, of credit. Uh, he's pretty good about trying to work with you to uh, make that happen. So then probably he'll go in and do an inspection. Okay. 
There are many. There are many buildings downtown that are very close to each other. For example, the Matt shoe store in your building. It was. You know, it wasn't a, an easy teardown to do that. No. But um, probably the fence is going to be easier than having a building with somebody mm -hmm. living in it. Yeah. But you know, I'm just saying is, you know, how are you going to get equipment in there to do that with, you know, I don't know how many trees are, are basically against the north end of, or the north side of the old Creamer building and things like this to work on that. True. Well, they could start from the south, they could start from the yeah. east, they could start from the okay. west, potentially. And, and we would have no right to actually use that area because that is Willie's property. Okay. So we wouldn't have any right to use that property even if we wanted to use it, without, of course, without Willie's permission. What happens when that wall falls down onto his property? What's the city's role at that point? It, it, I mean, it's a, uh, as far as from a legal standpoint, it's a civil matter between the property owners. Got it. So I had another thing for Cersei. Okay. I just wanted to tell you guys, um, at, at our last meeting, at our last meeting, which was a joint meeting, we had indicated that Colin, the city attorney, said that what we were doing um, in terms of dangerous and nuisance properties was not adequate that he has, uh, at a meeting I had with him on the 17th, he looked over all of our paperwork and determined that in fact it was, and we'll be able to start moving forward very quickly with the uh, dangerous and nuisance buildings. Okay. Thanks, Curtis. Are there particular buildings you're moving forward with, or is that public well, record at this point? You know, sort of the priorities seem to, we've, we've got several, but there's a property that is east of the old Farm Burn Oven. It used to be an apartment building on the Long south Park. side of the street. There's a brick apartment building on South 6th Street. Mm -hmm. there's a hot funk. One by the vet's office. The one by the vet's office. Mm -hmm. Those are the three those are the three big visible ones. On Main Street. There are five others. One of those is being negotiated right now to perhaps for the person to fix it up and the other four are just getting their second notice and we're going forward with them. So the two that are commercial property then you'll have to deal with asbestos abatement too? Not sure. We'll see what we'll see what it brings when we when we get to that phase. It's possible. Because residential doesn't deal with asbestos, am I correct right. in that? Right. But you know it's, it's a fight we have to make. I mean, these properties are not, they're not safe. One of, them's got, one of them had sewage all over the bottom of it and was never adequately cleaned up. The other one is falling down. Thanks for your work. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Item six, continuing business, A Blue Space Creative Inc. I simply want to report to the council that I have recently met with both the uh, new director and the uh, president of the um, of Chamber Main Street. Um, so we've started dialogue as far as um, how they're going to incorporate in their efforts towards encouraging uh, the uh, commercial elements to integrate the, um, um, the information provided to us, the branding information provided to us by Blue Space. So I'm sure you'll hear more about that as we move forward in the next few months. Okay. How is the city incorporating that information? Uh, well, uh, there's things we've already done and there's things we currently have in process and there's some future expectations. Right now what we've already done, letterhead's been dealt with, um, trash tags is another one. Um, you yourself did some work on the website, which incorporated mm -hmm. the logo work. Um, and, you know, those are just some examples of what's already been done, some things that are in the process. We've asked for uh, quoted pricing for street signs and um, using the color scheme that was uh, was developed. Uh, so that'd be an example of something we currently have that's ongoing. The flag. Uh, yeah, the, there's work going on on potential changes to the flag. Um, at some things that are, of course, already being thought of, but haven't actually, there's not been an effort put forward on them yet, is, um, 
is when we put the wraps on the billboards, they were only ever meant to be a two or three year temporary thing until we had the branding stuff done. So I'm sure here in the next six months or so there'll be some movement on, on how to incorporate some of the elements of what they've recommended into the new wraps out there. Um, so those are just some examples of different things going on. I don't have a list of it in here with me, Bruce, but, you know. Maybe. I mean, I just was hold, I wanted to make sure we were leading by example as well as encouraging other people to use the... Have we thought about, like, banners for the light poles and stuff like that or not? Um, typically, Chamber has been the entity that's uh, obtained those. The city usually doesn't, like the flags was a chamber project, 4-H supplied their own banners, um, the Christmas lighting stuff that's put up is all cham was all chamber driven. Uh, the city has usually not, uh, has not taken part in buying banner-like material in those circumstances. So the, you know, no matter how that's moved forward with in the future, that would probably be something that the two parties between us and chamber would probably be discussing. Anything else on blue space? Anybody? Steve? Sorry. Did the city receive a check from Chamber on the donations that Steve Spots has collected from the businesses? We have not received a check, no. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that Steve has turned that over to them. I, I did meet with the new Chamber director last week, and she indicated she believed that was in the works. So, uh, but as far as Seeing a check? No, I have not seen a check. I've just been told that there's one in the works. Okay. Anything else on Blue Space? Okay. B, Urban Development Area Update. Uh, this morning, um, both myself and Councilperson um, um, Bill. Perry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that guy over there. Uh, <laughs> we went to uh, the county supervisors meeting and presented them a copy of what I presented to you at the last council meeting. Uh, just spoke very briefly about it with them, explained what the differences had occurred since the law changes, and um, they had just a couple of cursory generic questions, and um, and so at this point they took it under advisement and are going to review it with their county attorney. Okay. <clears throat> Seven, miscellaneous. B, discussion on city property adjacent to 616 Hilltop Drive. Within your packet, you will see that there's two pages in there. One is just simply a recopy of the, um, the warranty deed that was... Um, presented to us uh, by Ms. Walsam um, uh, two weeks ago when she was here in the office or in the council. The other one is a map that simply identifies for you the property that we're discussing, which you will see there is um, a stretch of land between um, both Ms. Walsam and Mr. Uh, Ching's home. Um, in between Hilltop Drive and the bean field that Ms. Walsam owns um, immediately to the uh, to the west. I believe uh, Councilman Perry and Barb met last last night and discussed. Yeah, well, pursuant to our last council meeting, we did have. Uh, the housing committee, which is um, which is uh, small, <laughs> Teresa and Teresa and I are the subcommittee of the housing committee, and um, Barb with Barb we have met. We began exploring what yeah, what, what some housing possibilities are in town. Uh, last night, Mayor Blaise and I went around town. I was rather surprised that there was a page and a half of maybe potential locations that actually you could build a house in town. And that was kind of encouraging, or all of them maybe possible, maybe not. I don't know. Are you, are you actually trying to sell the lots that are, that, or the, any of the land that is there for development? Or? No. no. I'm trying to show my house that I could 
and the land that the city owns brings up the problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, is it? Would I, was, I was told by somebody on this committee that there was not any plans to develop that land right now. I mean, it was, it certainly is one that has been, un that we have discussed. I mean, to be, uh, trying to find places for people to build in town is, I mean, it, okay. you live in a beautiful area of town, and some of the lots that we find maybe are not as beautiful as that, I mean, or are not for sale, am I off base on that tree? I mean, yeah, right. um, in some ways, the city is older. Right? I forgot to punch out. I just really like reached up and sorry. <laughs> Still working. Unless you were punching me. Never mind. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, and we're a little bit landlocked because if we go to the okay, I'm directionally challenged. If we go, if we go out beyond the cemetery, most of that land just simply is not for sale. And if we're going out around the golf course, we have kind of the same situation. So one of the things that we have been trying to do is come up with areas that would be possible to develop. You know, now, um, and I understand that having the little right of way in front of your house is also an issue. I guess, I mean, if the if the land, particularly with the movement with the homes that have been constructed kind of on the other side of your property. I mean, that seems to have been making kind of a mini little, or a little mini development in there. I mean, that's... You know, per perhaps, you know, that's something that maybe we should think back onto a committee and kind of look at our options there rather than, you know, we're, you know, I know I'm kind of at a loss as to how to approach it, but I think you know, a committee or some type of venue such as that might be, uh, you know, and I know you and Teresa have already looked at it somewhat, but, you know, maybe consider it a little bit further. I, I, I don't know what direction to take. I, I mean, to be honest, the primary is a development that we have sort of been able to identify. All are out in the area that you are living in. I mean, there's the the lots on beyond your house. I mean, or the area, the land on beyond your house. And if it's not for sale, it becomes a moot point. There's there are lands at hot uh, six lots at Hosting Zone, kind of on the opposite side of the hospital's property, and possibly some farmland out you know out in that other area that maybe is a little more available than some some areas in town. Um, you know, Teresa could probably better attest to some of the land north of town's availability than I <laughs> That's a cheap shot. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Not. <laughs> you go it. ask. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I guess... Um, it's, it's kind of interesting because it's coming at the time when, at the very time when we're trying to find areas to develop and at the time when we're trying to figure out how, how to improve some housing situations because I know when people have come in, one of the concerns has been, is there a place that we can build? Or maybe is there a place that we can buy? I mean, it's kind of a, a mixed bag. Uh, I'm torn. You know, I, I, would, I would love to say, yeah, I wish we could, I would like to put the property all back together. Um, your your in-laws did a wonderful, a wonderful thing. You know, I mean, I guess my question is whether or not it actually is feasible to develop that area. I mean, and if so, it would be nice to have a path through there or a road to it. That'd be the only road to it anyway. Yeah. So we can get in there. I mean, I'm... Sorry, I don't mean to be the one blabbling away here, but it's, I can understand it would be great and certainly appreciate 
all of the care that you've done on the city's property. I mean, and that's uh, un. And I, I personally feel that at the very least, the city should probably be doing snow removal and things on, on the city's property. But um, well, if you if you do not if you can find my my want, are you going to start maintaining it? I would see no reason we the city the city's can, property. Yeah, it's the city's, city's property. The city's property. Yeah. I mean, I would see no. Yeah, I guess my. That makes sense. In, in that we just have really kind of started looking at some housing options, I would really personally like to see us defer for a couple months and explore it. I mean, you know, but in the meantime. Well, it's been through one year, so. I, I understand. Are I under you going to explore or are you just going to sit on it? Oh, I, I think we should definitely. This you know, is something move on. we need I, to I, move forward on, maybe. And I don't want to see us make a. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm, you know, it's on the agenda. Sure, I just caught a little off guard. I, I want to treat it. You know, in your best in, in the city's best interest. Uh, you know, I think it should be you know investigated and certainly moved on and come to a decision. Certainly within that next month or so and you know certainly with respect to you uh, and there's no hurry since we've done yeah. 51 years right yeah oh i i understand that oh. i mean and it's you know and i guess personally i've kind of been involved you know 18 months and a little more indirectly only became aware of it maybe you know even two months ago that we actually owned that um, i would really like to see us to be able to find areas that we could develop and I would like to see the city actively working toward developing some housing areas in town. Are you going to develop the one up by Joanne Walker Street? We don't own it. Mm -hmm. um, I understand that there's been a private purchase but mm -hmm. I, in fact, from what I've heard, and of course this is all secondhand because I don't, I haven't talked to the buyer, but um, I understand it is not his intent to develop it. Would I like to see it developed? Yeah, I would. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, um, but what? I mean, that some of the, I really, to be honest, I would love to have seen us develop the land that. Mr. Chris sold just on the south edge of town. I thought that would have been fabulous for high end housing. But that became economically unfeasible when somebody bought it at a rate that would just not have been possible to make it, make it pencil out. Um, well, George was still alive. It would, and you had a different administrator. Mm -hmm. It was talked about whether or not you would go in with gas and so forth. And we were told no. Is your interest, maybe there's some confusion here and I haven't heard this question asked. Um, are you interested in developing the Beanfield property? Not in developing. I'm too old for that. Sure. But would you be interested if there's a party who's interested in maintaining it for development purposes, maybe? Is that something you're interested in? You mean selling it to somebody else? Yes, if they were interested in development. Of Absolutely. It. Okay. Oh, that's the most exciting news I've heard all day, I'll be honest. You know, I mean, it's... Um, a lot of times, a lot of the driving around town, you're like, oh, that's a beautiful lot. Oh, it's owned by the adjacent property owner. Um, yeah, it probably will never be for sale. That's beautiful. Oh, this one's never you know, I, mean, I I think, given the situation, you know, and, you know, and just... In courtesy, I, I think this is a conversation that should be taking place 
on a one-to-one -one basis and visiting with you, uh, you know, rather than all of us thinking, you know, shooting from the hip when we really don't know what direction we're going. You know, just in courtesy to you, I would like to see, you know, a representative or representatives from the council. That's why this was brought up yeah. to get your people either Good. on or off. Okay, I and I and I. Personally, I would love to see us on, but I mean that's um, right. But you've got to do something. There. Sure. Right. And and I think we, you know, within the next week or so, you know, I, you know, I, I'm not designating or deciding who that person or persons are, but I think we should sit down and visit with you. Or, or what? Let, let me ask you this: What would you prefer? Some some of us come and talk to you one on one. Uh, I you. <coughs> Nobody talked to me. Okay, and and I apologize for for us not taking you up on that. We made a mistake there. Uh, so I think one or several of us should go and visit with you. I, we've known each other for for years. I would be more than happy to volunteer if that's agreeable. You're, you're the chair, right? not Teresa. Of what? Uh, of tonight. the meeting tonight. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 The chair yeah. of what? Yeah. You know, I would volunteer for Tell it. Tell me what the chair of. Uh, but you know, that doesn't self-appoint me though either. Uh, you know, and, and I don't know what venue that should take at this point. But you know, I'd be able to sit down and, and talk. You know, and, and I apologize for us having overlooked that. That was that was over here. I I did drive by and look at it. I mean, I. In fact, I got out of the car and kind of walked along there, but I didn't actually come up and talk to you. I'm sorry. Um. Bruce, since you're on the housing development thing too, do you and Bill want to go <coughs> together, the two of you? Would you be okay with that, Maybeth, if Bill and Bruce both came sure. and talked okay. to you? If they can agree upon a time sure. that works for you and them. And <coughs> That'd be great. great. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Maybeth. We'll, we, will, we will be in touch with you very shortly. We're apologize it's taken 51 years. It was a wonderful foresight that the Wassums had with a gift to the city. I would personally like to see us take advantage of it and see if we can can develop instead of sit on it a lot longer. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to realize that I'm ready to probably go somewhere other than 616 Hill Pup myself. Sure. Mm -hmm. So. So don't I wait, in other words. <laughs> so don't wait another 51 years, my Beth. <laughs> you, you will be hearing from us. <laughs> okay. Any further discussion on that topic? Okay. Th thank so you. Bill and Bruce will. Thank you. Thank you for coming and sharing that with us and for your patience. Okay. All right. 7C. Introduction and first reading of ordinance number 2015-268 entitled an ordinance amending the code of ordinances of the city of Sac City, Iowa by amending provisions pertaining to the zoning ordinances. You need an introduction first. I'll introduce it. Okay. okay so Gary introduced. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to say something? Yeah. Um, this ordinance is uh, <clears throat> this ordinance just corrects a small problem that we had uh, with enforcing fences near corners. There was a piece in the former wording, or in the current wording, that asked the planning and zoning officer to make a judgment call about percentages of of, of being able to see through it. Of I forget what the word is right now because I don't have it in front of me. Thirty percent solid. There you go. This just takes away that wording. It also defines more clearly what 20 feet from a quarter means, quarter means by referencing a, an image further on in the, in the code. And that is it. <laughs> That's what it does. Okay. First and second. Okay. Is there any further discussion? Okay. I would move to Gary okay. introduced okay. it. I introduced okay. it. All right. Good. I would move passage of the first reading of ordinance 2015-268 entitled an ordinance amending the code of ordinances 
of the city of Saxony, Iowa, by amending provisions pertaining to the zoning ordinance. I'll, I'll second it. Okay, with a motion and a second. And this, and my understanding from talking to you is that there's also there's also would be a, a police ordinance that would. There's a little bit of overlap. Overlap, uh, not it's not perfectly overlapping, but there is some overlapping. Uh, there is within the traffic code some enforcement elements within the police department of obstructing the view uh, of roads. So, um, but like I, I don't remember which council member it was I talked with today, but like I pointed out to them, right now that it might seem more redundant because of who the zoning officer is, but in the future there's nothing to say that the zoning officer would also be a police officer and kind of make that more. Um, whereas in the case of a police officer, it's reactionary, where in the case of the zoning officer, it's, it, it, it's, it, it's preventative. Um, you can avoid people actually taking the steps of putting something like that into place. So, in, in other words, it's not waiting for an accident to happen and then do something about it, but gives the PNC. I was kind of going to take that to, to act proactively as opposed to. Okay, Andy. Councilperson Hanson. Yes. Ginty. Yes. Yeah. Branning. Yes. Branning. Yes. Harry. Yes. Motion carried. Eight, public input on solid waste. No public input on solid waste. No, did I? Ow. Nine, council forum. <laughs> uh. Anything specific that anybody would like to share? Or? I have a question. Did you make the kid roll last night? No, I did not. I didn't either. And I was wondering no. if they had two people coming in. Have you heard if they accepted the position? Or? I was notified this morning. I may actually be able to help this one. Good. I was notified this morning that um, we, at the next council meeting, will have the appointment of two new board members to the uh, So they were there board. last night then? Uh, Abby Glass. Yes, and the yes, other one. Who, I'm sorry? Cassie Menser. No, Menser. not Brian. 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 Um, yeah, Brian's wife. Well, Karen. Karen. It was somebody Karen. Menser. Karen Menser. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I take it you were there, Susan. Yes. <laughs> sorry, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> I had corn to can. <laughs> it wasn't waiting. <laughs> okay, anything else, son? Um, I'd like to comment on what um, Steve said. I'm 100% behind him about that downtown traffic, that stop light and everything. I've watched more than one just run them on red lights. Right, it, right. And speed. I'll admit, the other morning, right along here, a car passed me. I was coming back in town. I looked down, I was doing 40 mile an hour. And right on up, it was. You weren't here, but during public input, Steve had right concern with the stoplights downtown. Steve did like, about the speeding and how people are running the red lights downtown and wants more law enforcement down there. Okay. So that was his concern. So, uh, where are we? Anything new on the facade grant? Facade project. There is a um, meeting tomorrow afternoon, in, actually in this office. It's the pre-construction meeting um, between myself, uh, the architect, the subcontractors, the, contra the contractor, uh, uh, Region 12. It, it's basically the preliminary setup. Uh, we'll have a better picture of what the schedule is going to be. Um, usually what goes on at your first pre-construction meeting is you work out what each entity is going to need from a utility standpoint. You work out, um, you, you work out things like what their schedule, what their proposed schedule is, how the payment process is going to work. Uh, it, it's a lot of formality process typically in the first meeting, but that is set to take place tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. So when are they thinking construction? I know you probably I, don't know until tomorrow. Tomorrow I should have a much clearer picture. I was told that even before the last council meeting that the um, tuck pointing company had already been inquiring about hotel rooms. Um, but There's been a guy here all week trying to tuck point. With the equipment that he has, he might be here for a couple of years. He was 
done on Al Vanderweek building with a step ladder and a little hand grinder. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh. Lord. Well, maybe he starts at the bottom and works up. <laughs> <laughs> that just puts a wonderful picture in my mind. I life. know, that's exactly what went through my mind. Was it battery operated or <laughs> Power cord, at least. <laughs> Makes you wonder. Okay. He didn't want to make a big mess. No, I didn't want to make a big mess. <laughs> Anything else for council forum? Okay, motion to adjourn. I would make that motion. I'll second it. Okay, same. Councilperson Bernie? Yes. Bernie? Yes. Gary? Yes. Hanson? Yes. Well, sure. All right.